Here's what's missing from your OCHEM book, how to draw the right epoxide every time. Now, what if you're taught a different way and it's shown as the OH is on the upper right corner? So again, it's either shown as this or you can move the structure so that the OH group is on the upper right corner. If this is the case, then here's your template. Notice that we're still drawing that epoxide in the direction of our double bond. So now it's going this way because that double bond is vertical. But this time, whatever is shown in front is shown as just a single bond because that's within your line of sight. But if I had again that this was a plus DET, then this portion of our epoxide would be wedged. So plus meaning wedged for our oxygen for that epoxide. Then that OH group is now going to be dashed but our alkyl group or hydrogen is not going to be wedged or dashed. Instead, it's just going to be that solid line because it is within our line of sight. Same concept with this next portion. This time it's a minus DET. So I know I'm still going to have this orientation of that epoxide facing this way. This time, because it's a minus, I have to show that this is dashed and that OH is wedged. However, this is just gonna remain the same because it's within our line of sight. Same thing here, just a solid line. Follow for more tips, your textbook forgot to mention.